not miss the points that the Holy Spirit wants me to give it to you. Amen. There's two types of people in the earth. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a loss and there's a found. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There's a lost people and there's a people that have been found by the grace of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, there's two types of people, saved or unsaved, mm -hmm. meaning you've been bought with a price by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. No man cometh to the Father but by him alone, Lord Amen. Jesus Christ, Amen. who is the Savior of Amen. the world. Amen. 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 We're going to the book of Ezekiel, which deals with the nation of Israel, the children of Israel, which was the people of God, who were not acting like the people of God. Uh, and, and God sent Jesus Christ, so you'll hear me. God sent Jesus Christ uh, to save the whole world. Yeah. Yes, he, did. he used Israel, amen, his people, through uh, Abraham, who was the first one chosen and became uh, the nation of Israel, the Jewish nation. And he used Abraham and made him a promise. That's why this lesson is called the covenant promise of the spirit. And not just the spirit, but God's spirit. God, his own self, his spirit, his life, amen, given to us through the shed blood of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. I, I want to say, I'm going to say a few things because you need to hear a few things that uh, everything don't go. I said everything just don't fly in the face of God. Uh, I need to say that because everything is just flying all over the place, Amen. Every man is doing uh, that which is right in his own eyes. Yeah. Amen. They're doing everything that they're big and bad enough to do and saying everything that they think that they can say, which is contrary to uh, the covenant promise of God giving his spirit, amen, to mankind. Yeah. Don't you know, it's my way. We say it's my way or the highway. No, it's his way and his way alone. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. I, I, I come to speak on behalf of the king. Amen. Yeah. Because everybody speak on behalf of everybody else. Everybody, everybody wants what they want. Praise God. You can have what you want, amen, but you got to pay the price for what you're going to get. And you may not be able to pay the price for what you want. Amen. Praise God. Uh, so I, I, I want to just preface that because it's very important because we live in wicked and treacherous days of misinformation, of lies. And everybody wants to be whatever they want to be. And it, it's spilling over to the young. The middle age and the old, and they're getting confused, and they're getting twisted in their minds, amen, and getting perverted, amen, and going the wrong way. It's such an evil out there that if you're not watching, amen, praise God, uh, it'll get you. And you'll, you'll, you'll come subject to it. You'll, you'll yield to the, ooh, the lie and the deception. And the lie will seem right, but it's not right. That's why we got to open the book of the word of the Lord, amen. And see what God is saying about his world and his people. This is not a man's world, this is God's world, hallelujah. Amen. I said this is not man's world, this is God's world, amen. amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We were riding uh, uh, Uber uh, when we was away and we got some guy who uh, had this car and he had all kind of prisms and symbols and incense on top of this car and crystals and this and that. And uh, it's all out there, amen. Uh, he, he got to talking and just running his mouth about this and that and all kind of philosophies and this and that. And I said, not without Christ. And uh, he kept on giving all of his extra genesis and whatever. He just rattling and rattling and thought he was trying to impress us. We just sat there and listened to him. Uh, and as he was almost coming to our place where we were going to the hotel, amen, he realized that there was a power greater in all that talk he was talking about. Yeah, I, I, I said, y'all got a power on y'all. And I, I said, there's something on y'all that I, 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 I detect, you know. And uh, uh, Yeah, the power of God, amen. Uh, uh, y'all have a little bit, y'all have a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he, he realized we weren't going for his okey doke, amen. He realized that God was in the car, amen. And, God was swallowing that monkey stuff he was talking about, amen. And right. We didn't have the time to get into it, amen. But he realized that the Spirit of God was in that car. Yeah. 
My wife would tell you, he recognized, amen, that you ain't going nowhere. Sometimes you ain't got to say a word, sometimes. He was rebuked by just running his mouth and ran into the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. So we give praise to the Spirit of grace, amen, that was made available to him to let him know that you're not going the right way. Jesus is the way, the only truth and life. No man come unto the Father but only by him. Are you hearing me this morning? Yes. We're looking at the, everybody got a lesson. Make sure everybody got a lesson. Amen. Because I'm going to get into the lesson. But I want to read the scripture text of our lesson, which is very important. Ezekiel chapter 36. Ezekiel chapter 36. And we were looking at uh, the people of God, supposed to be the people of God, but they were worse than the people who were not the people of God. <laughs> And let that not happen to one of us in this room that we are the people of God, but let it not be said that we don't act like the people of God. Amen. We don't talk like the people of God and love like the people of God. Amen. Let us not profane the name of our God and be a disgrace to the name of the God who we say we love. Yes. Amen. This is what's happening in this lesson. But the grace of God, the goodness of God saying, but still yet, I'm going to put my spirit within this people. You have Ezekiel chapter 36. Look with me to verse 7, 16. We're going to start with verse uh, 16. Prophet Ezekiel was called by God, a man, to rescue Israel, to bring his people back. And they didn't want to come back, and they had to go through a lot of hard tests and trial and judgments and punishments. And God allowed the enemy to whoop them up and down the road. Amen. Because they refused, amen, to listen to the truth. And so that's what happened to you and me. If we refuse to listen to the truth, uh, we put ourselves in a position, amen, of judgment, of mishaps, amen. Sometimes we don't remember all of the stuff we've done and, praise God, thought we got away with stuff. But there's a backlash, amen. Sin pays dividends. Sin pays weighs it, wages, amen? When you do wrong, there's a penalty, praise God. Ain't nothing happened to me. Well, don't say that. Thank God it ain't happened to you yet. And, and repent if you remember what you did. So there won't be no repercussions, amen? <laughs> but anyway, there, there is a wage for sin. Praise God. Nobody talks about that. There's a wage for sin. I'm fine. Everybody wants the goodness of God. Everybody wants God's good. And he is a good God. He's a loving God, caring God. He wants you to have the best that he has. That's why he sent Jesus, his son. Amen. Amen. That you can have the best and be the best unto him. Amen. Ezekiel 36, looking at verse 16. Want us to read together and read out loud. Verse 16, 1 and 2, let's read. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, stop right there. The prophet had a direct ear to the very voice of God. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. The prophet had a very direct ear to the voice of God. God spoke to him yeah. concerning his love for the people and what they were into and what they were about because he didn't want to see his people destroyed. Yeah. I'll say it again. God don't want to see his people destroyed. Right. God loves us. Amen. A good father and mother loves his sons and daughters. Amen. Right. And sometimes a father and mother have to give his child a spanking because they don't want to listen. Amen. They don't like doing it, amen, but they don't want the world to spank them. If the world spank you, you won't have to come back alive. Right. Okay. Say amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So we, we got to understand that oh, when chastisement comes, it only comes to make us better. Amen. And so God raised up prophets, amen, to speak after his heart. Say after his heart. After his heart. Verse 16, one more time, says what? Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in the own land, their own land, uh huh? They defiled it by their, by their what? The devil didn't make them do it. I said the devil didn't make them do it. He's being plain and careful with the words that God gave him. He said that they what? Defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman, a woman that was on her period. Huh? That was, that's, 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 that's filthy. 
Amen. In, in a sense, amen, that they were just like that. Yes. Walling in mess. Yes. Hmm. Read on. Wherefore, Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen. Hmm? Because they act like heathen. And they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judge them. According to their what? Ways and their their ways and their doings. I didn't do it. They did it. I judge them according to what they wanted. I judge them according to what they wanted to do without my permission. Are you listening? Remember when you did something without your father and mother's permission? I don't want to remember. I feel the pain. He said, and I judged them. Hmm. Verse 20. And when they entered unto the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, these are the people of the Lord and are gone forth out of, the, out of this land. But I had pity for my holy name. Is what kind of name? Holy. What kind of name? Holy. God's name is holy. God's ways are holy. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whether they went, whether they went. They profaned what? What does it mean to profane the name of the Lord? Look at my dictionary is Aisha. Praise God. I left my other book in my office, but that's why I'm going to use y'all. Amen. Praise God. She needs a mic. Praise God. Because I want her to I want you to understand the level. Who's got the mic? Give it to him. He can, he's my runner. He runs fast, too. Yeah, he's, he's my forest. Profane. What does it mean? Hold on. Let me read first. It says in verse 20. Read with me. Verse 20. And when they what? Under the heathen, whether they they did what? Profane my holy name when they said to them, These are the people of the Lord. And are gone forth out of the land. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel, the church, had profaned upon the heathen, whether they went. Profane means what? Okay. Okay. Uh, to treat something sacred. Pull up to treat something sacred. Say that. To treat something sacred. Now everybody say it. Come on. To treat something sacred. Say it again. To treat something sacred. Now let me, let me do this right quick. To treat something sacred. Mm -hmm. Look at your neighbor. Say sacred. 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 Come on, look at your neighbor. Say sacred. Sacred. You know that person sitting next to you is sacred unto God? Amen. Especially if they've been born again, they are sacred unto God. I said they are sacred unto God. They, they, it ain't just, you know, Sandra, it ain't just Kamara, it ain't just Aisha. Uh, that's a sacred vessel unto God. Read, what's the thing mean? Say it again. To treat something sacred with abuse, irreverence, or contempt. Read it again, say it again. To treat something sacred with abuse, abuse, irreverence, irreverence, or contempt. Or contempt. To debase by a wrong unworthy or vulgar use. Wow. Do we do that before our God? Do we treat God in a vulgar way? Do we debase Him? Think about it. Sometimes I think we don't understand because we don't define words and terms so we can really look at it and look at ourselves. Am I bringing God contempt with the way I'm talking? The way I'm living and the way I'm treating my brother and my sister. Can we read another one? One more time. It's one more. Uh, serving to debase or defile what is holy. Say it again. Serving to debase. Serving to debase or defile or what, defile what is holy. What is holy? Obscene. Obscene. 
So you may not see it as the basin of sin, but God sees it as the basin of sin. We, we're going to find out what he feels about what we're doing and what we're saying and how we're living and what we're doing. Once we find out that, we can really begin to live. And so he sent the prophet to say in verse 1, uh, but I had pity for my holy name, read, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen whether they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them, in the midst of your friends, in the midst of your relatives, in the midst of your buddies and your girlfriends and your, 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 your dog, amen. Uh, you have profaned me and made me seem like I'm on, they're on the same level that you're on because you represent me. Now they see me as uh, uh, disvalued. And because you have this value of me, and so they think that uh, the God that you serve is not worth valuing. He, he, he's an obscene thing, amen. He's a, he's a vulgar thing to you, amen. And he can go, he can flip flop whatever he wants, amen. And, and be all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. No, you're not all right. Come on. Glory to God. Have we done that before? Yes. Have we insulted God? Hmm. Have we devalued God and, and wanted us to look good? Yes. Nobody had to think or, or have a notion that I'm saved. I love Jesus. Amen. I love living right. No, no, no. We don't want we don't want that. You know, we don't want them to see the Jesus in me. Wow. I hope you're catching this. Where does stop at? 23. 23 read. And I will sanctify my what? God said, I will sanctify to the prophet my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, said the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen. Hold up. I will take you. I'm, I'm preaching, y'all. So you know, I got to stop, you know. I'm, I, I, I'm going to take you from among the... Amen. So, Karen, what did God do for you? He delivered you from what? Mike, Mike, we can't hear. What did she say? She delivered herself from what? Delivered you from what? The Lord delivered me from my mess. Wow. He delivered her from her mess, not your mess. So, you know, I don't think that you don't want to have mess or have mess. Amen. Before anybody comes to the Lord, we all have mess. Yes. Before we come to the Lord, we all are heathen. Yes. Heathenistic. Right. Some greater than the other. Yes. Still yet heathen, going to the same place. Yes. I was a nice heathen. How are you going to be a nice heathen? <laughs> Yeah, but we're like in the devil. I'm a nice heathen, and I only curse. I'm a nice heathen. I only lie. Uh, all right. Huh? I'm a nice heathen. I only uh, worship a little idol. Mm. But we do that. The world does that, and we say God don't mind, but God does mind. This is not a man's world. This is God's world. I said this is a man's world. It's not man's world. It's God's world. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, just follow me just a few more moments in the scriptures that we look here. He says in verse uh, uh, 23 again, I will, come on, read with me. I will sanctify my great name, which was what? Refrain among the heathen, which ye have what? You did it in the midst of them. You may look bad in the midst of them. Let us not make the Lord look bad in these days coming. Amen. Let's give God glory. Come on. Let's give God honor. Let's give God praise. Amen. How we live and how we talk and how we walk and how we treat others. Come on. I don't get no thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's give God glory for who he is. Hallelujah. My God, now, amen. When we leave here today, let's give God all the glory that's due unto his name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Don't be ashamed when you go to lunch. Amen. You got your friends around you. You don't bow your heads and pray over that food. Huh? Yeah, they're going to look at you, but you better sanctify that food. Amen. You don't know who's out there to kill you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm back at 23. I'm sorry. I got, I got to do this. Uh, and I will sanctify what? My great name, which were profane among the heathen. Read. Which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know. And the what? The heathen shall know. The unbelievers shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. Oh, my God. Can you say that now, since you've been born again, uh, that you are sanctified before the eyes of your old friends? Uh, they don't see you like you used to be. Amen. They want you to be like you used to be, but you can't be like you used to be. Amen. Because you've been bought for the price. Uh, and now you're going by God, your Father, and your body, and your spirit, which are His. You can't remain the old wreck. Amen. The old mean somebody that you used to be. The old drunk and addict, amen. Now I've been born again. I've been washed in the blood. I've been redeemed by the blood of the river who shy in the land. Hallelujah. My God, we give you praise. Say, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I've been born and baptized. Cleanse of all of my sin. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands and give God praise. Give a praise for that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is important that we understand. Amen. Uh, we're not the same old thing we used to be. And I can't be the same thing I used to be. Amen. I got a covenant with God. I said, I got a covenant with the living God. You got a covenant with the living God. Forget what people think about you. They don't got no heaven or hell to put you in. You better think about what the Lord thinks about you. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. He's talking to me to talk to you. So when you hear me talking like that, I'm talking to him. He's talking to me. And so he's giving me a download to give you out. Amen. If I don't do it, I can't get out what he wants you to have. Amen. Uh, uh, the kingdom language is not English or Japanese. It's other tongues. Amen. Praise God. That's when you get the Holy Ghost. He gave you kingdom language. And he gave you kingdom interpretation. Praise God. Say amen somebody. Where did I stop at? Why don't we move on, huh? But 23 is pretty good. One more time and I'm moving on. And I will what? And I will what? Sanctify my... What kind of name? What kind of name? Jesus has a great name. God has a great name. I said God has a great name that he gave to his son. You know Jesus' name was not his own? No, he, he didn't even have a name. He don't have a name. He said, I come in my father's name. I come in my Father's name. I represent my father. That's right. I have the seal of my father on me. I have the spirit in me. You know, Jesus had his own spirit. Oh yes. Until God gave him his spirit. So let me clear it up right there. You got your own spirit. Oh, but when you get born again, baptized in water. The spirit comes down from above, my God, and ignites your spirit with his own spirit. And you're not your own any longer. You're bought with a price now. You can't live the same way. You can't talk the same way. You can't even think the same way. It don't all happen at once, amen, but you're on a new journey. A newness of life, my God. Jesus said, I come that you might have life. I've come that you might have ah, I like that. I come that you might have life. You know, Jesus gave my life that I can have life. Yeah. I thought I had life, but when he came, I got life. Amen. Yeah. 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 All right.
right? You want to preach to abundant life. I'll put that in there. Bring abundant life. Look on me, y'all. Look on me. It gets bigger and bigger. Better and better. Who's it better and better? It gets better and better and gooder and gooder. Come on. I said, but yeah, gooder and good, but that ain't good English, but it does. It's gooder and gooder. Come on, Anthony, get gooder and gooder. Oh, amen. Man, where, where's my girl at? I, 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 but we were at Amber. She got some place. Uh, yeah. she, said, she said this to me a long time ago. Uh, I feel some sort of kind of way. I said, I know what you mean now. I feel some sort of kind of way too. When Jesus gave my life. It ain't like I used to feel. Praise God. How about you, right? How many feel some sort of kind of way for Jesus? Come on. Jesus make you feel some sort of kind of way. Amen. But dear, is that what your name is? I was going to say Medea, but you ain't Medea. You're a buddy. <laughs> well, uh, did you get Jesus back there? Huh? Did you get Jesus back there? Yeah, we talked about Talk to me. You know what? Talk to you. Say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart. Amen. Come on, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus come, in my heart. come in my heart. Make my heart yes. your home yes. right now. Yes. I receive you yes. as my Lord, yes. as my Savior yes. right now. I don't need to wait. You don't need to wait right now. Jesus. Jesus. Come in my heart. Make my heart your home. Now. I want you. I need you. I got to have you. Can't live without you. Jesus. Be my Lord. Jesus. Be my Savior. Say it like you mean it. Say it like you want it. My God. He'll make your life brand new. Hey. God, we thank you. Nobody likes Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I ain't playing. Come on. Come on. You'll be the same way if you don't get him right. Yeah. You'll be the same way if you get him You've got to have Jesus. <laughs> you can't be happy without Jesus. Money don't make you happy. I just read 13. My God, actors and entertainers that died. And they didn't have Jesus because they thought the money was a thing. Fame was a thing. Come on. They're trying to find themselves. You can't find yourself until you find the life that's in Christ. He is our life. I said, He is our life. You can't have life without the life giver. He is the life giver. He said, I come that you might have life. I come that you might life. Oh, y'all ain't with me this morning. I come that you might have life and have life more, more, more abundantly. Never go down for three. I want all that He has. You gotta want him for him to get you. You gotta want him. And when you want him, he wants you. He already paid a price for you, but he said, You gotta want me. You gotta want him. You gotta want him. Amen. Man can't do nothing for you. Nah, man can't do nothing for you. You gotta pray your own prayer. Huh? You gotta believe in your own self. I ain't getting nowhere. It's time to get a whole lot of places. Amen. Glory to God. Say glory to God. Come on. Come on. Say glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, where did we stop at? Oh, we moved on. Come on. Now, verse 24. Read. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Everybody come from somewhere in this room. Don't think you're something more special than your neighbor. Amen. I know you like to think so. You're no different, no more special than your neighbor. Your neighbor was a heathen just like you were a heathen. Without Christ, without God in Christ. Amen. So you're all on the same level. Praise God. And so if you come in here, you feel some sort of way, amen, because you need Jesus. Amen. Ain't nothing but you just need Jesus. Amen. All we serve is Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the new day, Jesus when the sun goes down. I said we just serving Jesus up in here. Come on, we may be here in the morning, afternoon, and tonight. Praise God. I have a tonight anointing. Now, I, got him I have a, a tonight anointing. Y'all know that? Yeah, I, I think I can be here tonight. I got some 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 new cushions in my shoes. They got a little bouncy, man. I can move a little bit better. Praise God. Praise God. Are you listening to me this morning? You ain't listening to me. Somebody's going to try to sneak 
care i-a ajuns. Lasă te două! Hei! Alright, we're not at 24. Come on, we're not going to get moving, man. Whew, Jesus. Verse 24, read. Everybody, read it. Come on. For I will take you from among the heathen. See, he's talking to you. Uh, he's talking to us. I, I, now, I'm going to say he's talking to you. All right? I got three fingers pointing to me. I'm not no heathen no more, but I'm talking to you in this preached word this morning. He said, I'm going to take you from out of the midst of the heathen. I'm going to take you out of the midst of the crooked. Hey. Huh? Yes. The depraved. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. The idolaters. Yes. I'm going to take you out of the midst of the fornicators, the adulterers. I'm going to take you out of the midst of them. Yeah. <laughs> you want to come? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Come on. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land, your own place of peace. Mm -hmm. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. We're, we're getting it now. We're getting the washing of the water by the word. Yeah. Now, the water of God's word is cleansing you right now as I preach to you. Yeah. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be what? Clean. From all your filthiness. Now God doesn't like filthiness. So the, the covenant promise of the Spirit, now, now God says and, and John 4, 24, God is, God is. It's an A spirit, but God is spirit. He ain't just A spirit, God is spirit. What kind of spirit? A spirit that does not like filthiness. Come on, walk with me. This is the prophet explaining what God doesn't like. And how his people was. Yes. And what they were involved with. And what they were doing. Yes. And he said, I'm going to sprinkle clean water upon you. Let's hear the word of the Lord. I'm going to sprinkle clean water upon you. Pure water. To sanctify you. Clean from your filthiness. Didn't the, didn't the word say that? Verse 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Read with me. And ye shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. When God saves you, he's saving you from something. God sent Jesus to his people to save his people from their sin. He didn't send Jesus for the righteous because there was none. He sent Jesus to save us from our sins. Amen. Whatever yours is, he's come to save you from it, but he came Amen. plural to save us from sin. Amen. He come to save us from sin. sin and all the tentacles that's connected to it. Right. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And you're going to tell somebody, your sin bigger than my sin, your sin bigger than my you're all going to hell with sin in your life, so your sin is the same. <laughs> That's pretty good. What? That? That's pretty good. I just take it here, boy. I said, make a record, right? No. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. We have thoughts like that. You know, I roll at people and roam at people. That their issue is bigger than mine. And every issue that's outside of the love of God is going to take you down. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. No matter how little you think it is, you ain't the judge of how little it is. It's a judge of all earth. He tell you how big or how little your mess is. Hey! Glory to God. My God. I may have to take this coat off. It's hot up in here. Glory to God. I ain't ready yet. I want to be cool for a few moments. My wife set me up. Didn't she do a good job? Yes. Yeah, Praise God. She always do. She don't come from the head down, right? I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. See the covenant promise of the Spirit. Tell somebody the covenant promise of the Spirit. God is Spirit. Say it again. God is Spirit. Hmm. 
God is spirit. I want you to work that. God is spirit. God is spirit. God is holy spirit. God is holy spirit. Come on, sing it with me. God is holy spirit. Let that sink in you. How many have Jesus? You know what you mean? You know what that means? You have a holy Jesus. Here's a boy. A holy Jesus. So what did I say about the four? The four is a holy, sanctified woman of God. She can't be crazy no more. She wants what she can't. Sometimes one we want to be crazy, but she can't. She, she's a sanctified, holy woman of God who has a holy Jesus on the inside. Amen. Young man, holy Jesus on the inside, right? Amen. No joke. No joke. You're going to recognize. Somebody will ask you, who are you? I'm a son of God. Ooh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. How you know? I asked when to come in my heart. Amen. When did you do that? Doesn't make any difference. I did it. Amen. What's it to you? You're going to have him come in your heart too. Just ask him. Come in my heart. You'll make your heart his home. I'm going to work in that a little bit this morning. Is your heart the home of Jesus? Who's that young man right there? I know you. Yeah, that's you. What's your name? William, William is glad to have you here this morning. Your first time? Your third time? Guess what that means? You're in. You're in, son. You can't go nowhere. Praise God. Glad to have you this morning. Amen. Thank you, son. Give him a clap. Give him a clap. Praise God. See, if you've been here three times, you're in. You can't escape. Amen. I think I'm almost finished here. Uh, Johnson, what did I stop at? Are you sure? 1, 2, 3, 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Come on, give me some volume. And ye shall be what? I shall be what? From what? All my filthiness. And from all my idols and will I cleanse you. He said, I will what? Cleanse you. Verse 26. A new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will put I will what? Give you a heart of flesh. A tender heart. A receptive heart. Hmm. Verse 27. And I will put my spirit Within you. Say it again. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. When I put my spirit in you, my spirit will cause you to walk in a new way. My spirit will cause you to talk in a new way. Will think in a new way. Love in a new way. Won't be lust, love, and be love in a new way. I'll cause you to treat one another in a new way. Amen. Not like with a get back spirit. Amen. Not with a pointing finger spirit. I will cause you to walk in a new way. New way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to stop there. Verse 27 says what? And I will put my spirit within you. God said to the prophet to his uh, wayward people. <laughs> After all of this. After all of your filthiness and your idolatry, I'm going to give you a reset. Because you're mine. 
I'm going to give you a reset and I'm going to bring you back to where you belong. Huh? Because you're mine. It's good to be God. He ain't going to let you go but so far. And he's going to pull you back where you belong. That's a good God. I said that's a good God. He's going to pull you back where you belong. Hey, the Bible says he's married to the backslider. Praise God. Y'all ain't hear me. He's married to the backslider. He's he going to come and get you. Though you done got the snot beat out of you, come on. But you look like death warmed over, amen. Raggedy hand, raggedy joke, amen. He said, you still a mind. You paid for that. I didn't do that. You paid for that, praise God. But you still mind. I'm going to reach back. I'm going to pull you in. And you're going to win now. You're going to win now. Oh, uh, y'all ain't this. I said, you're going to win now. You're going to win now. You can't lose now. Stay on my side. Come on, I'm on your side. We're going to win. I already decided when you came in that you won. Hallelujah. Praise God. I already claimed you. My God, that's good news. All right. Verse 27 to read. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Get your lesson out. Come on. Man, time sure flies. I only took 45 minutes, so, you know. Now I'm going to take my wife's 45 minutes. Now I'm not going to try to keep you 45 more minutes, but I can't promise you. This is the Lord's day, isn't it? Yeah. Sunday is the Lord's day. Yeah. Amen. How many, how many work five days this week? You work five days, wait a minute. You work five days? How many work six days, wait a minute? Six days? How many, how many? No, no more days. That day, Lord's day. Yeah, you can't work seven. That's the Lord's day. Some people do. You have your lesson? The covenant promise of the Spirit. Let me run this quickly to you. Say after me, a covenant, a covenant is, an is an agreement. Come on, say it again. A covenant is what? An Secondly, a covenant is a binding and solemn agreement to do or keep from doing a specified thing. Now, I'm just defining what a covenant is. Listen carefully. A covenant, number one, is an agreement. That means you come in agreement with God, God come in agreement with you, that he's going to do thus and so for you. That's right. But you got to agree with what he says. That's right. Not what you want, but what he says. That's right. and he's got all the good. Oh, yeah. So a covenant is agreement. Secondly, a covenant is a binding and solemn agreement to do or keep from doing a specified thing. Amen. Say, I have a covenant with God. So again, a covenant is, number two, it's a binding and solemn agreement to do or keep from doing a specified thing. Uh, let, me, let me give you a quick example. I'm not going to tear you longer. In uh, Genesis 12, God was making a covenant with Abraham. It was, it was God's own covenant because, you know, He's telling Abraham what I'm going to do. It, it's God's promise to Abraham. It's God's promise to Abraham. See, God's promise to Abraham. God's promise to Abraham. And guess what? Uh, we are children of Abraham. I said, we are children of Abraham. Uh, Galatians uh, 3, 28 says, if you be Christ, yeah, Abraham what? Seed. Seed and heirs according to the promise. If you be Christ. And so I'm connected to Abraham through Jesus Christ. I'm an heir according to the promise. Yeah. I'm an heir according to the promise. Yeah. And God cannot lie. Yeah. My God, I said, God cannot lie. Come on. Yeah. And so, hey, my God, thank you. So if God cannot lie, then you better not lie. Yeah. 
Right. Okay. So if God says, I can't lie, then I, I don't want you to be a liar and not get the benefits of this covenant. Amen. But listen, God's greater than your covenant. It's his covenant. You are lying, he'll still keep a part of the covenant. All right. You still alive, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Say thank you. Thank you. Uh, see, we don't know what when to say thank you. Praise God. Uh, he he didn't keep on, kept on keeping his covenant, and you're still here alive. Amen. Doing your own thing, and he's still being God. Right. Let you breathe his air. Yes, right. Oh, my. Let you inhale and exhale. All my God, the breath you got, he gave it to you. Yes, right. Listen. But do you, guess what? I'm just messing with you. I like you. You know how good God is to you? Yes. He's real good, right? Amen. Every inhale, exhale comes only from God. Yes. You don't even run by batteries, do you? No, you run by the breath of God. You run by the breath of God. I run by the breath of God. Say hey. neighbor, we run. We, run. we, walk. we walk. We live, we live. By, the breath of God. by the breath of God. Clap your hands and thank Him for that. Come on. You know, that was kind of like a sexual chocolate clap. <laughs> sexual chocolate. The breath of God is in you. Yeah. Don't be cheap with that phony clap like you got breath on your own. You shake your own throat, y'all. I, I, I cracked up when I seen that movie. It, oh, couldn't sing that lick, eh, man? And they clap like they couldn't sing a lick. Amen. But God is greater than that clap we gave them. Praise God. See, I, I have to bring up these points by the revelation of God because sometimes we think we're all that. Sometimes we think, you know, if God owes us something, God owes you nothing. Huh? Every time you wake up and you're able to, you should give him a praise. Come on. Come on. Hey. Lord, I thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. My God, it got by sometime. I thank you. Because the breath I breathe. I wonder how he does that. Do you wonder, Phil? About how he, how he, down, anybody ever wonder how your heart keeps ticking? Is there a time clock? Like your alarm clock? See, I... I I reset my time clock this morning. I'm sorry. I had to tell the truth. I had it set for 4 30. Praise God. And you know, I'm, I'm always I have to sleep on Saturday. Uh, so I woke up, amen, and it was like hmm, uh, 409. I said, man, already? Oh, when I hit that button, what did it do? <laughs> no, I said it for five. <laughs> Oh, 445, 445. I want to be up at 5 moving. And so I reset it at 5, amen. And I got up 5 minutes before 5. We got my big head up. Praise God. Because me and Brother had a talk this morning. Amen. Praise God. And so, and we're here. Praise God. Amen. amen. But just, you know, that's just majestic right there for me, the boy. Right there. That's just awesome. I'm blown away with that. Oh, I'm blown with that fact, amen, that, ooh, my God. He has allowed me, uh, uh, Miss Rice, to inhale and exhale. For 69 years. Oh, what a blessing. 69 years out of the look. I said, Lord, I thank you for 69 more. I want you to keep that for that, but I thank you anyway. But he said, with long life, I satisfy you and I show you my loving kindness. I'll do it for you, Richard. Right. Nobody else believe you believe. Yeah. I'll do it for you. Praise God. Yeah. You know you can believe for what you want? Yeah. I said, you know you can believe for what you want? Yeah. But you got to know what he said. Because your belief is no good if he ain't said it. Where am I at? Yeah, I, I, I was thinking about the the, 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 the covenant, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a binding and solemn agreement to do or keep from 
doing a specified thing. And Genesis 12 says this. You with me right there? Amen. Okay, verse 1 says what? Now the Lord had said. The Lord had what? Say. He already said unto Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from thy your folks. Amen. They're going to keep you from me. See, when God, oh my God, here it is, Cynthia, right here. Amen. See, because I, I want to get there. I, I may not get there, but I, I will get there. You know, the God, God's covenant promise of the Spirit, I will put my Spirit in you. Uh, it's a separating word. It's a separating word. Joshua, it's a separating word. It separates you. It separates me from anything that will keep me from him. Huh? He will move things out of your way and out of your life. I didn't say kill, amen. But he will move things out of the way that's keeping you from him. Yes. Hallelujah! My God, he, he will take things from you, allow things to be taken from you because you're making them more than him. That's right. Mm. You're making something an idol that, that's hindering his possession of your heart and so he will have no other God before him he won't have you before him he'll take you out oh my God he'll give you a wake up call huh there's just too much of you in the way oh God we preaching now there's too much of you Richard in the way get out of the way I don't want them to see you I want them to see me I want them to hear me not you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he, he told Abraham. What did he tell him? Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country. Get out of the neighborhood. It's no longer any good for you. Your neighbors will keep you doing the same thing over and over again. You need to find some place new. Amen. Not that you're better than them, but I have something for you that they don't want. Hey. Glory to God. Right. And when you get me, they're going to start abusing you. Because right. right. we do things different here. Oh, yeah. right. Glory to God. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindreds and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. Read with me, verse 2. And I will make thee a great nation. My God, hold up. He said, I'm going to make you great. My God, you walk with me, I'm going to walk with you, I'm going to make you great. Number two, and I will bless thee. No, number two, I will bless you. You ain't been blessed because you've been throwing your money away. Huh? Oh my. I ain't going to say what thing you've been blowing your money on. You know what you've been blowing your money on. He's going to teach you how to keep your money. That's how he blesses you, amen. He's going to teach you how to spend your money. My God, that's all good news. I will bless thee, read, and make thy name great. Your name been dirt before, and I'm going to make your name better than it was. Amen. Huh? My God, your name, uh, can I say it? No. Should I say it? Yeah. It'll help you. Amen. Your name been slut. You ain't a slut no more. Your name been a pimp. You ain't a pimp no more. Oh. Your name been an alcoholic, you ain't an alcoholic no more. Your name been a knucklehead, you ain't a knucklehead no more. I'm gonna make your name great. Your name been mean. I'm gonna make you sweet. Glory to God. Y'all ain't listening. Praise God. I'm gonna make you different, amen. And you used to like being mean. You used to like being argumentative. I'm gonna take the argue out of you. So you can start telling the devil off. Right. Instead of telling your husband off and telling your wife off. Y'all don't like this message, I can see. These things will keep you saved. These are how you get saved. Amen. Knowing that I gotta get rid of some stuff. In this, in this company says in verse 2, I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee. Come on. And and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Everywhere you go, somebody's going to be blessed by you. Oh, my God. Me and my wife, and, I don't know, it's a couple of weeks in this auditorium, amen. I don't know what this is happening. I don't know. Uh, we had a show, Deal or No Deal, amen. Yeah, and there was this couple sitting in front of us on the main floor, amen. And, you know, 
I'm always running my mouth. I am not really. I'm, but I, I said hello to him. Praise God. Amen. They said, go back to me. Amen. All of a sudden, we got in the conversation, and it was about marriage. Amen. You know, all she was talking about, her desire, her desire, her desire, her desire. And, and, and her husband right there, amen, only been married for a few months, 18 months or something like that. And she got her desire all up in the, up in the house. Praise her desire, her desire. I said, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amen. He's your desire. Praise God right there. You know? Oh, I got a desire. I got a desire. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, uh, your desire is going to be worked out together. Amen. You can't put your desire before your love for him. He can't put his desire for your love for her. Amen. Amen. And I just got here just running my mouth. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. They asked for it. And, and so she started looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't gotta pray. You ain't gotta fast. Your desire will happen. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I still come to pass. Amen. The Bible says, "Delight thyself also in the Lord, not in your desire. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Don't delight in the desire. Delight yourself also in the Lord and your husband. Amen. Because she's she's starting to have that thing before her husband. And he's looking and. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what he said? As we got, you know, some things straight out, you know, God always bring a rat in the bush <laughs> to help you when you Amen. need it the most. God said God is just like that. He'll do that. Amen. He'll do it like that. Yeah. We just think other, I don't know them from Adam, they don't know me. Amen. But we know the Lord. Praise God. And they need help. Praise God. And the show went on a little bit, and, and, and before I, we were going to get up out of there, the show was still going on. I, I, I tapped him on the shoulder and said, oh, Put your hands here. Let me pray for you. Ooh, praise yeah. God. Just start praying right there. Amen. Yeah. Bless him in Jesus' name. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I decree and declare that life will never be the same. And her desire will not be above the love of her husband. Yeah. And the love of that man will not be above his desire for her. The love will be equal, amen. Two walking together in agreement, amen. That God's gonna work this thing out. Come on. He work it out, he work it out. He can work it out. He can work it out. Yes, he can. Come on. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. I know without a doubt that he can work it out. Yes, he can. Come on. Yes, he can. That's a song. Y'all. That's a song. Yeah. That's a song. But that's part of my mind. He will work it out. Just work with him. Work with each other. Now I'm saying to couples, don't let your desire be above your desire and love for your mate. Amen. Let that be first and foremost. A covenant is a binding and solemn agreement to do or keep from doing a specified thing. Genesis 12, and I'm almost finished. Genesis 12 says what? Verse 1, read. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house. Read. Unto a land that I will I will show thee. Show thee. Show, but it said, get out. Verse 2. And I will make of thee a great nation. Number 1. I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. He keeps on. And I will bless them that bless thee. Wow. And curse them that curse thee. And in thee all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And so Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken. This was the Lord's covenant to Abraham. All he had to do is get out of his father's house, get away from his kindred, and God was going to show him a brand new avenue of living. Woo, my God. But it was not without instruction. It was not without instruction. So that's what a covenant is. I'm two minutes over. Can I have five more minutes? I'll go five. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Thank you. All right. Uh, we took care. Come say covenant. covenant. What's a covenant? Number one? A covenant is what? Number one? Number two, covenant is what? Now, come on, this ain't F true. Come on, this ain't. Uh, together, two, a covenant is what? 
a binding and solemn agreement to do or keep from doing a specified thing. So it ain't all on God. It's not all on Jesus. It ain't all on the Holy Spirit. You have a part and partial in this thing, relationship, amen? Say it's a relationship. You better do your part. You gotta believe, come on. You gotta trust him, praise God. And let this be your first day of trusting the Lord. Promise. What's a promise? A promise is an oral or written agreement to do or not to do something by. Say it for me. A promise is, a promise is an, oral an oral or written agreement, or written agreement to do or not to do, to do, or not to do something by. So don't promise that you're not going to keep it. You become a liar. A promise number two is a indication. Say indication. indication. As of a successful prospect or future. A promise is an indication as of a successful prospect or future. We're talking about in God. When he promised it's an indication of a successful prospect and or future. Amen. So if God promised something, hey, you might as well look for success. Hallelujah. You might as well look for a bright future. Yes. It may cost you something, but it's going to pay you dividends. Amen? Right. Thirdly, a promise is to give a basis for expectation of something to come or receive. Got that? A promise is to give a basis for expectation of something to come or receive. Got it? Last promise is to give a basis for expecting or an expectation. A promise is to give a basis for expecting or an expectation that something, something, child of God, is good, is about to happen to you and for you. My closing scripture is in Psalms 84. Psalm 84. I want you to turn to Psalm 84. Now, now you know I ain't finished, right? But I'm going to be nice. Did you, you get something this morning? I said you get something this morning. I'm going to take a little bit of time and I want you to come back. Well, I'm like, I, I, I don't know about Wednesday. I want you to come back Wednesday. But I'm going to be on this lesson Every Sunday, giving the pieces that God wants you to have. Amen. Amen. Messing with your soul. Amen. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, I, I, the Holy Spirit brought this. Save yourself yeah. from this untoward generation. Yeah. Save yourself from this wicked and adulterous, perverse generation. That's in Acts chapter 3 or 2. Two or three. Save yourself. Hmm? Your homework. Read the first two chapters of Acts. <laughs> but it's in, it's in the second chapter. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Untoward being this a generation going the opposite of where God wants them to go. Children can't. Children are being coerced and being deceived about identity. One girl said, some days I want to be a boy, some days I want to be a girl. Some days I want to be both at the same time. How insane is that? Uh, there's, there, that's called the spirit of confusion and the spirit of perversion running around in this last hour. You have Psalms 84? I think you'll like this. Verse 10 and 11 and 12. 
70 feet, we'll read together. 70 feet, so I won't keep going. Because I, I know Dwayne wants me to keep going, so I, I, yeah, I appreciate that. This is your soul food for this week. Uh, now, this is your assignment uh, for Wednesday. Uh, make sure you read the first. Uh, make sure I get this right. First, first four pages of the lesson. First four pages of the lesson. That's all, because I got something else to add to that. Uh, dealing with the carnal and the flesh lesson I'm going to give you today. It's all going to work together after a while. Amen. All right, Psalms 84, you have it? Amen. Uh, uh, God's going to bless you in this. This is, this is a, the blessed word for you. Amen. This is a promise that God wants to give you before you leave here. Amen. Psalms 84, verse 10, 1, 2, and 3. For a day in the courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Read it again. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a son and shield. He's a what? Son and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusts in thee. Blessed is the man, woman, boy and girl, that trusts in thee. No good thing. Amen. God's making a promise. No good thing to every person in this room. No good thing will he withhold back from them that walk. How? Upright. Upright. It means walk straight. Don't be walking crooked. Cop got it. Somebody can follow you. Amen. Somebody's watching you. Somebody want to be like you. Amen. Don't want them to be a knucklehead or a misfit. Praise God. Walk straight. Talk straight. Hallelujah. Be sweet. Be nice. Be loving. Be caring. Folks are watching you. They're, they're modeling their life after you. They say, I don't want to be just like that person and say that. No. I want to be just like that one to get folk told. No, that ain't walking up right there. God didn't want to get you told. He wants you to get in his kingdom. And make Jesus your choice. This morning as we stand in his presence, every head bowed, every eye closed. Father, you know every individual in this room. You know, Lord God, whether they're right, you know whether they're wrong. Father, you know whether they're in or whether they're not in. You know whether they love you or whether they don't love you. You know, Lord God, who has a mind to want to do right and a mind to want to do wrong. But there's someone here, Lord, you know that they need a change in their very lives. Father, I ask now that you touch every heart on the sound of my voice. I pray that your glory I thank you that your glory has been revealed to everyone in this room. Not one person. Not one person shall leave the same way they have come. Yes, Lord. Oh, we ask, Father, that your glory be revealed, Lord God, to everyone that comes in this room today. Whether we see it or not, we know, Lord, your glory has been revealed and your glory is rusting upon this atmosphere. And not one life will ever be the same again. That is come in Jesus' name. I pray the high power of your anointing, Lord God. Hallelujah. Will blast every evil and every contrary thing off of every person in this room, God. I pray, Lord God, for divine cleansing, Lord God, and washing and renewing of the Holy Ghost upon every light in this room. I pray, God, you'll touch every heart, Lord God. To want to know you better, Lord God, to walk in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 
Ay, 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 ay. I pray, oh God, even now, oh God. Everyone up the glory in you, everyone up on the sound of my voice is making a decision for Christ I live and for Christ I will die. Yes. yes. I pray, Father, now that not one person under the sound of my voice will let anyone allow anyone to keep them from the peace of God, the joy of the Lord, Amen. of being their very strength and help. You are a very present help in a time of trouble. Be that to everyone in this room. I open this altar up right now. If you want and need something from the Lord, come to this altar right now. We have ministers who will come and pray with you. If you're lost, you're saved, not saved. You haven't received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Come to this altar right now. If you're in a situation that you need prayer for, you can come right now. Hallelujah. If you got sickness in your body, the Lord our God is a healer. Jehovah Rapha is the Lord that healeth us. You can come this morning. Praise God. Don't have to, I don't care what your need is. Come. Get your need met. Our Lord Jesus Christ is a miracle worker and he wants to work a miracle in your very life right now. Don't be ashamed. If you want to accept the Lord to be baptized in water in Jesus' name, you come on down here. If you want to be saved, you'll be a part of the kingdom of God. You want Jesus to be Lord of your life. You come now. You come now. He will come to you. He will come in your heart. He will come in your heart. Make your heart your home. The Bible that he didn't believe in is baptized shall be saved. Right here. Come right here. Right here, daughter. He didn't believe in baptized shall be saved. You gotta you gotta confess him before men. He'll confess you before the Father, which is in heaven. He loved you. He loved you. He loved you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what your need is. I don't care what your need is. He'll bless you. 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 Uh, God loves you. God loves you more than you can ever imagine. Hallelujah. He wants to have a love relationship with you. I said he wants to 